Hi everyone, welcome to the Anime Multi Universe. My name is Biggie, and today I'm ranking my favorite anime characters from Bleach a Thousand Year Blood War. Let's get it. Ankai. So it's at the end of the year and it's about that time to do our year um, wrap up right time to get into the nitty gritties of our favorite characters and before I go further into the video if you haven't seen Bleach a thousand year blood war careful for spoilers ahead because I will be going in. So the scope of this video will be for the 2023 Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. So forget about old man Yamamoto because he did not make this list. I'm also going to be making a top 10 disappointment list. Yeah, that should be very interesting because there's a couple of characters that really disappointed me in this arc. But without any further delay, let's get into the video. Starting up with number 8, I've got my man Renji Aparai. Okay. So it was really great finally seeing Renji, you know, get a proper power up and kick some ass man the one thing i always appreciate about Renji is how bad as this dude is and his willingness to never give up i mean look at the power gap between Renji and ichigo yet every time i think about Renji, it doesn't feel like or he feels like a peer of ichigo right? and it was also great seeing the real form of zabimaru or should i say soho zabimaru I like the compact form instead of it being so a big target, being big, bulky, and slower. And the battle he had with Mask the Mescaline, I think it really showed us how much of a power up Renji really had. Coming in at number seven, I've got the king of the Quincy, okay? Um, the main villain of this arc, which is your boy, Yu Haba Haba. You know, I just love how much this dude's power is so well realized, right? And it's so unique when I think about other villains in Bleach. You know, keeps it fresh. I love how he slow just keeps growing and growing his demeanor also always cool calm and collected and his final battle with ishibe just the sheer strength of this guy it goes to show you that definitely this is the king of the quincy the one thing i will say that i hate about him is generally how he's called towards the quincy especially the weak ones i mean i can understand that it plays into how cold his character is but damn bro have some loyalty towards your your subordinates but yeah i look forward to exploring more of you haba haba i can't wait to see how he actually survives that battle with ishibe coming in at number six i've got kushiki okay byakuya kushiki i mean how could i not have my favorite arrogant character here right seeing my man kick ass without the use of his bunker was nothing short of amazing i think kushiki somewhat embodies how a true captain should be just the way he carries himself um that swag man you know and when he shows up you know that he's definitely going to do so he's gonna kick some ass again how distinct his power is you know being pink flowers also how his power is just is a great representation of speed i also love how he was such a brother to Rukia this season. You can tell that he definitely, you know, oh, he's a renewed man. I cannot forget about the, his one-liners, bro. How many bangers did um, Kuchki have whenever he was on screen? But yeah, that's Kuchki at number six. Now, coming in at number five, I've got the main protagonist, which is my boy Ichigo Kurosaki. In a standard grade shown in anime, Ichigo would definitely be top three but for some reason this arc is not resonating with me that much in most of the series i felt like his story was at the back you know he wasn't really center stage the saving grace is that between all other characters he does get a relative good amount of screen time which actually saves his you know character his fights are also great when he finally came back from the royal palace and took on some of the stand rita man that shit was hard i mean ichigo has speed super strength and he can shoot off powers like using Getsuka Tensho, which gives him like a well-rounded um power set, unlike characters like your Ken Pachizaraki, who solely rely on brute strength. Ichigo so far has not been my favorite character in his own story, but I hope next year my opinion will change about his character. And you know, we can go back to feeling that Ichigo is the actual protagonist of his story. Coming in at number four, oh man, I've got the ice queen. Here I'll admit it, this is purely from fanning out. That entire Bankai reveal was so amazing. The entire design just put 
so she wrote to shame she looked so beautiful dude literally like a queen right even the camera work in revealing the design was so amazing you know when they went all the way from the bottom to the top and then they zoomed in on her face man i was like this is great choreography and camera work i also liked how the power powerful attack was right it was quite a long range and very destructive the drawback of the power was also great which meant that rukia also had some form of limitations because if she can actually break those um, limitations rukia is gonna be a problem and then coming in at number three i've got our favorite mad genius you know mayuri man i don't know how many times on the show i died laughing at mayuri's one line as him and kuchki definitely need like a roast off though i think mayuri would definitely win because this dude is so condescending i enjoyed that fight between him and toshiro his fighting technique right it's so unique and so appropriate for his character it's not just brute force like most of the characters on bridge and i really cannot wait to see his banka akisoke jizo if i'm not mistaken because it's constantly evolving how the banka looks man my man really looked like a teletype and i'm here for it and then coming in at number two i've got ken pachi zaraki goodness man this dude is so amazing you know between him and shunsi i'm struggling who's my favorite character in bleach but i love ken pachi finally seeing nozaraji made such a big difference dude like it gave me so many goosebumps this that was probably my favorite fight since um captain yamamoto's bankai reveal right his fight with grammy goated fight is definitely making it to my top 10 fights of the year can Paji cut a freaking micho in half who does that bro okay i'm talking this is madara level stuff dude okay not madara but you know what i mean his unwavering fear and and lust for blood and battle dude i love this dude if he had more story time he would definitely be my number one on this list and then coming in at number one man ishibe came through dog <laughs> Na 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 na. Ishibe definitely came through this season. I mean, you're not gonna talk to you about, about like that dog and not make it to my number one, right? I was like, this dude literally deserves his title as arguably the strongest Shinigami in Bleach, right? The one dude who I definitely think that could take on old man Yamamoto and his power very unique, right? The ability to wipe away anything, right? And his bankai when he stole black all across the world, even his attacks and action sequence with you Haba Haba was amazing. Again, for me, it was the confidence that this guy has. But yeah, that's it for my favorite anime characters for Bleach a Thousand Year, the separation or part two of Bleach a Thousand Year Blood War. I cannot wait for part three. Um, some of the things I look forward to, obviously, Shunzi, man. I need more Shunzi, okay? And definitely can purchase Bankai and how, you know, the story between Ichigo and Iryu, Uryu definitely concludes. But yeah, that's it for the video. Please rank your favorite Bleach characters in the comment section below. Let us engage on them and let me know what you're looking forward to in part 3 coming out in 2024.